Okay, so of course, now you've had some time to explore the calendar and how to post assignments. Just some things as thing, you know, as it's growing now and the questions are coming in from teachers. So remember now, when you post an assignment to Jupiter and you put the due date, it will show on the same calendar. I repeat, when you post an assignment, like Worksheet 34, and you make the due date March 24, it will show on the calendar too, and that's fine. But what I'm asking is that you put the instructions for the class also on that date. Um, how you take care of homework and where you post that can be still done in that same calendar entry. Um, and Mrs. Castillo, thank you, had a good question regarding like links. So yes, as long as you post the link, you copy and post the link exactly how it is in that calendar entry, you sh they are able to link, um, click the link right from there. Another thing is posting files. So I wanted you to see that. Let me get this Jupiter going. All right. So as for files, hold on just a bit. Okay. Let me get in here as the teacher view. Again, this is something that maybe you already practiced at before, or you just knew, because now without the new message feature, which is why I wanted to use it in the first place, without the new message feature of with the paperclip and me asking you now to use the calendar, you're limited. You can't post a file, but the way to get around that is very simple. You just, let me share my screen with you. Okay, this is a teacher view. All right, so I went ahead and showed you how to open up and post something to the calendar. Now, if you want to post to math class, say a PDF or a picture, up to post, now you're posting a file. So it's almost as if you're feeding a room of information. So now, math and I want to post a picture or a file. I did that both here, okay? And the way I did that was just make sure you select your class. You want the file to be shown. New upload, this computer, find what you want to upload. And maybe this one, that's a PDF file. Select the class you want it to be shown on, you know? like a math, uh, maybe a religion teacher wants to show all the religion classes the same file, select as many as you need, and then post on students and parents material screen in this course and the same courses checked above. Remember, you always want to make sure that the students and the parents have a view of what you're sending, okay? So again, select as many classes that you want these files to show to. Oh, there it goes, opens it already. Okay, and, and then hit, hit it, all right? So again, filing, going, putting something new into that class, make sure you hit this course so parents and students can see it in the material screen and then same, Courses checked above if you have more than one course receiving that file, save it and it will be in that room's or that subject's materials. So when a student goes in, okay, I made a sample. Ms. Tabata became a science teacher because I've been trying to play with this. Um, this is a test student. So again, when the child goes to my file, or I'm sorry, materials, they can switch through and find what everything that was uploaded. Okay, so it's gonna be their materials tab. So again, post files. We'll post it to the students. This is student view. When they hit materials, they'll find it there, okay? My files is not what they're going to hit because that's as if the child is uploading files. So hope this is helpful. This is the last one that I'm doing today. Again, this main, the main purpose of this is to get 
to reduce the amount of emails that our families were receiving and um, to keep organization, okay? So thank you very much. We shall learn more. I'm about to send you something from Mrs. Castillo and how she was um, sharing lessons. I shared with you um, some other teachers and if, if you come across something, remember to let's help each other out. And um, for now, let's just work on posting assignments on the calendar and not sending a message. And if you have to send a link, just put it directly into that calendar in the description. And if you have to send a file, use the materials, okay? Or yes. All right, that's it. So go ahead and practice. Get some rest. We start again tomorrow. Thank you.